Mum, I, I can't get through to you. Ian's locked me in a room, in on a boat. I need help. I can't get out. You're not having any? Maybe later. Where have you been? Everyone kept saying about how rough I look, so I went to see Sonia. What? She started giving me the once over and she just freaks out. Why? Oh, I don't know. She hadn't even finished taking my blood pressure and I oh. wasted time. I should go and see a doctor. Well, by the time you get an appointment, you'll feel better. Let me look after you. You're always there for me. You know, I never thought I'd be in love with my best friend. What would our younger selves say if they could see us now? Do you think your mum would approve? I think she'd be proud of you. Don't bother trying to talk me round. You ain't cut out for this. I have to be. But don't you? Look, it's not like I don't know the rest, but no one else is doing anything. Listen, you mess this up, you will go down for good. Now tell me, tell me. How's that justice, eh? Hey? Ian will have paid. So what? Hey, so what? I mean, you poison him right in front of everyone. You're going to be the first person they point their finger at. Not if they think he's done it to himself. Come on, you saw how he flipped out at Christmas. He was already losing it. Just got to keep people thinking he's not himself. You seriously think you can pull this off? Well, what else is there? Smash him around the head like you did. Well, you could stop, couldn't you? You could stop. Well, let him get away with it. With lying to me, with betraying me, with letting me marry him when he knew. When he knew he killed that little boy. This is the only way to do it. You was wrong. You know what you said earlier. I can't forget what he did. And I shouldn't have left you alone to, to deal with this. Now we're gonna make him pay. Shan, we're gonna make him pay. Together. Nothing's been right since I, I got home from hospital. I've been drowsy, dizzy, weak. I can't do anything for myself. I can 
I'm barely managing to get around the house and... and I've been collapsing. Recovery takes time, Ian. You'll get better. You know, he practically runs the square. He's not used to being off his feet this long. I, I, I don't understand it, cos... I thought the operation was going to sort everything out, but I'm... I'm a burden on my wife. No, you're not. I'm here to look after you, whatever you need. There are tests that can be run to get a better sense of what's going on inside. Yeah, any, anything but help. Yeah, you know, it's been quite stressful. The woman accused of attacking him is on the run and, uh, well, I'm worried he's getting depressed. It's something he's battled with before. That could also be something to consider, Ian. How are you feeling emotionally? My emotions aren't stopping me from getting around the house. A mental health assessment can't do any harm. We'll figure it out. Make sure you just focus on getting some rest and, as I said, we'll order some blood tests. Someone's trying to kill me, and you're sneaking around. What do you mean, someone? Tina's on the loose. Why not? Got any better suggestions? Think closer to one. No. I think it could be Sharon. Ian, all right, we both know Sharon could do this without even lifting a finger. Maybe she believed Dottie more than she let <sighs> on. Everyone knows Dot is a liar. Sharon's not going to believe a word that comes out of yeah, her mouth. Yeah, but if she did, she'd have more of a reason than Tina had. That's ridiculous. I mean, Sharon took me to the GP. She's worried about me. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course she is, yeah. What with your blood? Mental health tests? I'm sorry to break it to you, in, but I've just overheard Sharon postponing those till next month. We ain't that different, Ian. Well, thanks for your concern, Max, but Sharon loves me very much, OK? We've been through hard time. Yeah, well, I thought the same about Linda. The two don't compare. Look, that weren't just another affair, all right? I actually loved her. Good for you. So it's been good, yeah? You two, up here, married, so they're just mates. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Have you actually slept together? It's only your business. Right, yeah. She's probably waiting then, she, to the, you know, the honeymoon. What she told the doctor you had booked? Was it Spain, Portugal? Oh, is it some sort of joke? Don't open your eyes here, right? She's looking after you and you're getting worse. So believe me or don't, I wouldn't be accepting a good night cocoa if I were you. I blame you, Ian. If I was in your position, I wouldn't eat anything the missus made for me, either. Last time I checked, it wasn't a crime to make a sandwich in your own restaurant. Have you been for those tests yet? Or have you even asked her about it? Max, will you just drop it? You heard one random phone call. Oh, well, she's living in your pub. Well, she's got access to all sorts of things. She's got a motive, opportunity. Things are good between me and Sharon. Well, I don't know. You know, you never know what's going on in someone's head. I mean, look at me and Tanya, Ian, you know, look at all the horrible things you've done to me. Yeah, you cheated on her more times than you can remember. I mean, lying comes as easy to you as breathing. Why would I believe you over the woman I love? Listen, Ian, all right, I'm not lying, all right? And just because you don't like me don't mean I'm not right. If everything's so good between you and Sharon, what are you doing in here? Make yourself a sandwich. We can hardly stand up. I mean, you must be a little bit suspicious. Ian, if you think she's up to something, yeah, you've got to get to the bottom of it, yeah? Look into it. Sharon wouldn't go after my money, not after everything I've been through. Right, so why else would she be doing it? You know, unless she believes Dottie more than she's letting on. Or is it something you're not telling us, Ian? 
don't know what you're talking about. Listen, if you're so sure Sharon ain't behind this, prove it. Look here. Definitely guilty about something. It's me. Whatever Ian's done, he's still Kathy's son. I can't do this anymore. The plan's off. So, why did you want to see a doctor today, Mr. Bill? Uh, he's not feeling right. You need some tests. And what sort of tests? Uh, blood tests. He's worried he's taking something that he shouldn't have done, and it's making him sick. So you're worried you might have overdosed? <sighs> Accidentally, or...? Oh, fine, it's, um... It's just stress, that's all. Um... C can we get out of here? Do you want to know the truth, or don't you? <clears throat> if you're worried you've ingested something, I suggest we begin with some basic toxicology tests. See if we can get to the bottom of what's been going on. Sound good? Mr. Beale, if you don't feel comfortable. I do. Let's do this. You've been ignoring my calls. I've told you. I've changed my mind, it's off. Do you want to tell me why? It's too risky. So he gets away with killing our boy, is that what you're saying? Don't fail. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, no one. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm feeling better. Good. I've uh, just got to pop out of... Uh, I've got some business. Mind you go. You heard back from the doctor yet? I'm still waiting for the results, but... I feel better. I'm sure it's just stress. Stress? Do me a favour, mate. I ain't stressed, all right? I know what stress looks like. You look like you're on death's door. Yeah, well, I feel better. We well, don't look it. You just wake up in, all right? Sharon is definitely behind this. Oh, Max, why are you so concerned for me? Because if anyone's going to kill you, Ian, it should be me. Seriously, Ian, why you should have told a doctor about Sharon? You've always had an overactive imagination. Well, right, we'll see what the results say, shall we? Yeah, well, Sharon can't do enough for me. It was not what Kathy said. Apparently, she had to go to Sharon and Vic. Doing? I'm just getting rid of some old medication. I don't now be getting hold of it. He's into everything these days. Yeah. Here you and Mum had an exchange. Well, it's nothing to worry about. Something and nothing. Didn't sound like nothing. Look. She's worried about you. We both are. Frustrations boil over. She accused me of not caring enough about you. Now, I didn't say anything because I didn't want you to be angry with her. I guess we all have different ways of caring. Sharon? Mm. 
Is there anything you want to tell me? Like what? Anything. Nothing I can think of. I've not... I mean, I've, I've never given you a reason to think that I don't love you, have I? No, of course not. My feelings for you haven't changed at all. I know you think I'm being weak. <laughs> you? Weak? You're the strongest woman I know, and I'm Peggy Mitchell's son. I can't put Cathy through what I went through. What, Ian? Put you through? I mean, that's the difference, isn't it? You know, Dennis was innocent. Ian... <laughs> Ian ain't. You know I can't live with, Sherman? I can't live with the fact that I was there. You know, my boy, down in that boat, fighting for his life. <laughs> Spine to see him pills, just looking out for himself like he always does. No. Our boy, Sharon, our boy, he must, he must have been gasping for his. His lungs must have filled with water. Stop it! Please. <laughs> we can never walk away, can we? Ian took our son away, and he has to pay. What do I do, Phil? You don't have to do anything, I'll do it. No. No, it should be me. I'm the one he lied to all those months, the one he tricked into marrying him. But it needs doing quickly, OK? I can't go on like this. All right. Get something stronger. Take minutes, not hours. Ian, I thought I'd make my spaghetti carbonara tonight. Bottle of red, garlic bread, if you fancy. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Well, as you're feeling better, I thought we could make it a special night. How? Well, we've been married a month. Didn't you think it's about time we truly became man and wife? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's make it a night to remember you. Starting to get um, a bit busy downstairs. What's that? Tennis phone. I'm really sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to intrude. He used to like making voice notes. I'd give anything to hear his voice again. But it's. I like holding his things, you know? Makes me feel close to him. I feel like that with Lucy's stuff. Shall we? 
You're not the only one who thinks about him. It's not a day goes by when I, I don't beat myself up for not saving him. There's no point dwelling in the past, is there? I'm looking forward to tonight. Me too. Dinner's ready. Mr. Bale, Dr. Hobbs here. We've got your test results back. There is some cause for concern, I'm afraid. If you could come in as soon as you can, or call me at the practice, I'll be here till eight. Mmm, delicious. So where is it? What? Was it in the in the food in the sauce? Where's the poison, Sharon? Take a bite. What? Take a bite. Why? Come on, what's the harm? Fine. Will that satisfy you? Can you imagine now that you're paranoid? Eat it. Eat it! So it is true. Why? Why? Do you want me to call the police? Do you want Albie to be taken into care? Is that what you want? Just tell me why. You know why. You know. Dennis. Even gonna deny it. It's mobile phone, you were lying. Do you wanna hear his message? Do you wanna hear my son's last words? Sharon, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna hear it, please. Mom, I, I can't get through to you. Ian's locked me in a room, in a boat. I need help. I can't get out. And Mum, I, I can't get through. You killed my son. Sharon, I did... Liar! You locked him in. It was a mistake. Okay, it was it was just it was a stupid mistake. You won't understand. I... Don't tell me. You tell me how you drowned my son. I didn't drown him. Yes. I locked him in the room. It was before everything happened, OK? He was out of control and... Oh, I, I didn't know the boat was going to sink. And when it did, you just left him to die? No. No, I didn't, Sharon. I, I, I swear to you, OK? I, I tried... I, I tried to save him. I went back. I got him out of the room. 
and we were going down this corridor. We were filling with water. And we were up to our legs. It was nearly up to the ceiling, and then this. There was this noise. I came in, just, just wave. It just came rushing in. And, and Danny. I don't know. But I had hold of him. He was gone. It was dark. I, could, I, I couldn't find him. Ian. Ian. You're not going to make me pity you, do you hear me? No, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're just trying to get sympathy. You're going to spit it out, you're pathetic. Oh, go on then, go ahead, eat it. Eat it all, I want you to, every last bite. I'm not going to stop you. You can die alone. Ian. Ian, what are you doing? Ian, stop it! Ian, get up. Ian, get up, you get up! Get up, you need to make yourself sick. Ian, please. Come on. What? It's, it's here. It's here. Get it up. It's here. It's here. Get up. Sharon, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ian. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't save your beautiful boy. I deserve to die. No. No, you don't. I'll leave. No. Why? I just tried to kill you. We, 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 can, we can work it out, can't we? Oh, Sharon, no. Sharon, please. No, 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 no Sharon. Sharon, I love you. Goodbye, Ian. Sharon! Is it done? If you want him dead, you're gonna have to do it yourself.